Hello and welcome to the channel. In a previous video we've seen how to compare two worksheets in Excel using VBA macros. In this video we will compare the entire workbook. So we will uh, compare if they have the same number of worksheets and if the worksheets have the same name and then for each worksheet with the same name we will we will compare the contents for each worksheet in the same way we did in the previous video. So I have here two workbooks. The first one is called workbook version 1 and the second one here is workbook version 2 and it's a second version of the first workbook with just a few changes. Let's move to the Visual Basic Editor and insert a module and compare two workbooks. First we're going to declare two object variables, one for each of the workbooks. So that'll be one as a workbook wb2 as a workbook and then we will also have a worksheet object variable so ws1 as a worksheet and ws2 as a worksheet and this will represent each worksheet in each of the two workbooks so then we set wb1 to this workbook so in this example the first workbook is going to be where the macro resides and set WB2 to the second workbook. This assumes the first workbook was open first. So the, the workbook where the macro is was open first, and the second version was open next. And if there are more workbooks open, they were open later. So this can be changed. We can also use names, or we could, alternatively, we could use a dialog to open the second file, or even both files. So we could have the macro in a third file standalone and then prompt two dialogues to open each of the workbooks to be compared. So the first thing we'll do is to check if WB1 worksheets count is different than WB2 worksheets count. Then we can display a message box saying, for example, worksheet mismatch and we could also exit the the macro here if we want but if you want to keep comparing regardless if they have different worksheets we just leave it like this and then we continue with the macro so now for each worksheet in wb1 worksheets collection we're going to have another nested for loop and for each WS2 in WB2 in the second workbook, works its collection. And here we're going to check if the name matches. So if the first worksheet it has the same name as the second worksheet, then we're going to start here another loop to compare each worksheet. And this is the same that we've done in the previous video. So here I will add a commentary compare two worksheets. And we will compare cell to cell. So for each cell in WS1 range, and we're using the current region. And we've covered that in the previous video, so if you want to know more about it, check, check that out. And now here, if the value of the cell is different than WS2, the second worksheet range, for that exact same address value, then we will highlight that cell. So the interior, we will change the interior color to yellow. But we are doing that in the first workbook. In the previous video, we did that in the second worksheet. And we are also going to display a message saying mismatch in, in cell, cell.address. And in worksheet um, ws1.name. Okay, we end the if statement here and we move to the next cell. Now we end the if statement here and we go to the next worksheet. But if after this loop it didn't find any worksheet with that name, we also want to know that. So I'm going to introduce um, a new variable here. I'm going to call it WS, WS match. 
And here is false. And whenever it finds a, a, a worksheet with the same name, a match, it's going to become true. And here after the loop, we're going to check if WS match is, is not true, is false. Then we are going to change the color of the worksheet or the color of the tab, yellow, for example, so that we will know that sheet was not found in the second version. And then here we go to the next WS1. And we could declare, of course, as a Boolean here. So that's basically it. Let's run it and see how it works. So it found a mismatch in cell F41 in this particular worksheet, which is this the active worksheet. And then it found another mismatch in cell F42. So if we go here, it, it highlighted those cells in yellow. If we change, for example, let's change for this worksheet instead of 18, let's say it's 20. So now the name is different than in the first version. If we run the macro again, it again, it finds the mismatch in cell 41 and 42, and then keeps keeps looking. And when it finishes, we see that it highlighted the fourth worksheet in yellow because there's a mismatch there. Uh, it has a different name in the second version. So that's how we compare two workbooks in Excel using VBA macros. Thanks for watching.